We are here with Blur Tuk, trimmer and flight controller on Emirates Team New Zealand. Blur, a day with very light wind conditions, always under five knots of wind. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, our third day here in Barcelona. Another really good day for the team. Uh, like you say, right on the bottom end of conditions. Uh, we had quite a lot of media uh, out with us at the beginning of the day. So the start of the day, uh, we were just sort of doing flybys back and forth from the city. Um, yeah, it was, it was nice to be able to give them a show of the boat uh, here in Barcelona. And then from there, uh, continue out to sea a little bit, did some testing, um, but really good to get a feel for these conditions, quite different than the last couple of days here. Talking about the beginning of the day and the fact that we had uh, a lot of journalists and many photographers and cameramen, is that the reason why you were sailing with the J2 at the beginning of the day? Do you have something to hide on the J1? No, nothing to hide on the J1. It was just a little bit windier um, at the start of the day, so we decided to go for the J2 for that. Uh, but pretty quickly it became uh, apparent that it was uh, into the really bottom end of the conditions. Um, so we, we did that change when they went in um, and finished off the day on the, the J1. So yeah, like I said before, really, really good to see these conditions. We've been watching uh, on recon for a while now. So across the three days we've had a, already had a, a big range. Um, so it's good to see for the team. When talking about the maneuvers, uh, we were impressed that you were doing most of the tacks standing on the foils and also a couple jibes with wind intensity under five knots. Um, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, we've been practicing a lot uh, back home as a team and it's nice to, you know, it's always a little bit different uh, with the sea state and the, and the, and the wind um, when you get here to, to see how you pull those off. So. Uh, some of them weren't uh, probably the best or up to the standard we know we can achieve, but some of them were also really good. So, yeah, all in all, a, a great day and um, you know, good steps forward. And you know, these first few days for us have been really important to get here and established and operating as a team. Um, and it's, it's gone super smoothly and uh, you know, I mean, I've had a very efficient days sailing, so it's been good. Okay, and going into the team's, the team's lineup. Uh, you are always uh, the flight controller and the trimmer on port tack, while Peter Berling is sitting on starboard tack. You have been sailing together for more than 10 years, you know each other really well, your level of communication and coordination is really high. Is that because the coordination between flight controlling and the helm is more critical than trimming and the helm? Or why? Is there um, any specific reason for that? That was just a decision we made to do at, at the beginning. Um, obviously, last America's Cup, Peter and I um, were doing the controlling and we'd switch sides. Um, so as Nathan and Andy uh, came in, we decided to switch it up so we had the experience both sides there. Um, but as you'd expect, Nathan and Andy have picked it up very quick and doing a great job, and we've just stuck with that. Okay, so basically the intention is to try to have a more consistent uh boat performance on the two tacks, uh, splitting the two of you and having more homogenic cell trimming and boat balance and everything. Sí, okay. Sí. Thank you very much. All right. Gracias.